video, I constructed one of the best SMGs in Modern Warfare 2 as of right now with the best ammo capacity. Before we get into that, we gotta talk about what started all. T90 and COD 4 was the first SMG in Call of Duty history that had the most, most, most ammo capacity in any Call of Duty game when it came to SMGs, and it is the reason why the PDSW exists in Modern Warfare 2 today. Now, let's take a look at the new improved version of the P90. Today's video guys, we're giving you guys the best PDSW class setup in Modern Warfare 2 as of right now after the update. I do look like I say in today's video, I'm going to give you guys the best attachments along with the best weapon tuners to go along with this weapon. I do look like I say, you guys should be dropping a lot of KGBs in this class setup because this SMG is so underrated. Before we get into this class setup guys, we're going to say if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, if case turned down, make sure to do so you guys never miss a banger up on the channel. Guys, right, so let's take the new version of the P90 in Modern Warfare 2. Alrighty fam, let's get into our PDSW class setup in Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to give you guys the best attachments attachments best weapon tunings i'm gonna teach you guys how to control recoil at the end and some cool aim and sips tricks and trips tips and tricks i don't know what i was saying right there all right let's get into this all right starting off with the barrel guys we're gonna be going on with this 17 inch corvus pro range barrel we're gonna be coming up with that bullet velocity damage range and help you out some of that recoil control and hip fire control which is basically almost the same thing. Guys, don't worry about the cons either. We're gonna be able to tune this weapon up and change these things as well as we go. All right, guys, for the next attachment, we got the VLK laser. Pretty much this laser is the best one because you're gonna get the best ADS speeds and sprint to fire time speed, which are very important for SMGs. All right, guys, for the next attachment, we got the CQB stock coming in with the crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and ADS speed, which is all gonna help you guys because SMGs, you want them to be very, like, mobile, playing, you know, Modern Warfare 2, be running around fast, you know, being able just to gun people very fast, as quick as possible. All right, you guys, for the next attachment, we got the comb coming in with that TV Tacom comb. Pretty much, we're going to be maxing out that sprint tires, sprint to fire speed, and the ADS speed. All right, you guys, for the last attachment, we're going on with the Stip 40 grip to help some of that recoil control. Now, now we have all of our attachments, guys. Let's take this gun to the firing range, see what it can do with these attachments. And then we're going to tune it and see what it does after tuning. All right, guys, we are in the fire range. we got the polyatomic camo. Man, I love this camo. It's so nice. All right, let's see what these attachments can do. I feel like I have no recoil. I mean, I'm also very good at controlling recoil, but, like, this gun just feels like it has it done. All right, so now we got our attachments. Let's go ahead and take this gun. Let's tune it up. And let's see what it does after tunings. All right, guys, we're going to start off with our barrel. We're going to put this recoil steadiness up to a 0.40. And make sure you max out that damage range completely. You want to max out your damage range because it's like a long barrel attachment. You want the gun to be able to have the max damage range as possible, especially in SMG, because it might allow you to help get those medium range gun engagements where you might lose from an AR. You might be winning some of that with that damage range. All right, guys, for the C CQB stock, we're going to go ahead and uh, put up our ADS speeds to a 2.0 here. Uh, we're not going to be maxing out aim walking steadiness at all. For the aiming idle stability, put this to a 1.60. What that's going to allow you to do is you're basically like your red dot reticle iron sight is not going to move left to right or sway. It'll just stay right in target and stay still while you're trying to get those quick and easy kills. All right, guys, for the next attachment, we got the TV Take Tacom uh, comb. I'm not sure why we have combs on this SMG. It's interesting. What we're going to do is put our recoil stabilization all the way up and max out our aiming idle stability. Once again, this is a crucial attachment. We're still going to get our, our sprint to fire and our ADS speeds, but this is just going to allow us to control the weapon even more. All right, guys, for the last attachment, what we're going to do is put our recoil steadiness up to a 0 0.70 and put your sprint to fire time to a nice 30. Now that we have all our tunings, let's take this gun to the fire range. Let's see what it can do. And I'm going to teach you guys how to control recoil and get more aim assist in the game. Right, guys, now that we're in the fire range. As you guys can see, our sprint to fire time speeds are a little bit slower than what maybe most of you guys might want. But let's just take a look and see how we're dealing with recoil here. Oh, yeah. I mean, that seems pretty solid. I mean, honestly, because you don't get aim assist shooting down range. Now, so I'm going to teach you guys how to control some recoil. While shooting, you guys want to always make sure you're tilting down on that right thumbstick. Now, while you're doing that, make sure you're strafing left to right with your left thumbstick. And I guarantee you, you will probably hit a lot more bullets on your uh, gun. Now, remember, uh, shooting long range in the fire range, you get no um, ADS um, aim assist. So, being able to shoot these guys like this is pretty good because we don't have a no aim assist. So... That helps out a lot. All right, guys, leave a comment on the next one if you guys want to see me showcase on the channel. And as always, as always guys, you want to drop a crazy nuke in the game, just watch the gameplay. We went crazy. Enjoy the gameplay, guys. Peace. People first of all, people judge me all the time for doing uh, my YouTube stuff and then doing this over other things. 
because they're like, oh, you know, it's never going to work out or maybe something stupid like that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I got a lot of friends that, you know, they smoke weed. Uh, I've had some people ask me to smoke with them. But if I don't smoke with them, they don't peer pressure me. Uh, they're cool with it. You know, I don't. Nobody really. I guess maybe. Yeah, but I think I also have some pretty decent friends. Like, nope, nobody's ever forced me to do uh, any any drugs or any alcohol. You know, I've been pretty good with that kind of stuff. I don't, I just don't do those types of things. I don't, for me, because I, I'm very focused on pursuing my dreams and, and, and doing those types of things. To the point where it's like, I personally don't have time to maybe like, you know, I don't know, like smoke some weed or drink some alcohol because I, I, I want to make my money while I'm young you know I want to be successful while I'm young so that I can enjoy that money and my chair keeps messing up on me hold up there we go yeah I want to make my money while I'm young and then you know I'm just like I said you know I don't um I think that's cool if people smoke drink you know whatever they want to do I think that's cool you know what I, I don't ever like to judge people like that you know it's obviously it's not good for your body but there's a lot of things that aren't good for our bodies at the end of the day and who am I to judge them who, who am I to who am I to judge somebody else? You know what I'm saying? That's what I've always said. You know, I'm I, I'm a nobody to be judging anybody, and uh, that's why I don't judge people, bro, for what they do. You know, I don't I don't like to do that. I don't I don't think it's cool. Hey, I just I just don't. I'm just saying, like I don't I don't judge people. You know, I don't. Bro, I'm dropping a nuke this game, bro. I've I've done I've 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 done some pot brownies before. I've done some other things. Hey, I don't, you know it's hey it's uh I dropped my nuke ready. It's uh, alcohol is a, a very nice stimulant especially if you use it wisely i think like I, i've drank before you know i've done alcohol before i, I might not seem like the type of guy that that might drink could do like a pop brownie I, I did a pop brownie bro it, it was a good time it was i had a good time it was pretty cool Yo, this kid keeps killing me, but you know what? I might just end this game kind of early. These kids, I don't know. Maybe. That's my quickest nuke, though, right there. Jeez. What would you say, like, your favorite alcohol would, would be? Like, if you were to pick one alcohol. You're going with the JMO? Yeah, bro, I'm flying on these kids right now, brother. I'm just flying at them. I kind of feel bad for them, to be honest with you. No, I'm not going to lie, though. There is nothing better than, like, like, uh, I, like, to be honest with you, you know, and I don't know, like, the viewers obviously can comment down below, like, you know, what's, what y'all think about this, too. Like, I don't know, like, I don't think there's any, no better feeling. You know, let's say you had a long day at work. You know, you're old enough to drink, you're of age at least to drink. I don't want to... You know, if you're not of age, then don't drink, all right? But if you're of age to drink, <laughs> there's no better feeling than kind of coming home. Maybe after like a long day, you know, mix yourself a nice shot with maybe some Coke or something. You know, just to stimulate your brain a little bit. Yeah, you know, I think that's cool. I'm all... I'm all yeah, I like... I think that's awesome. If you can do that, and that, that's good for you. And, you know, I don't... I just don't do the... Uh, crazy drinking i don't do all that stuff but i'm dropping 60 kills at these kids right now i don't do the uh bro said alpha male <laughs> yeah. 
Bro said alpha male. I can't get over that. That was funny. Bro said he's gonna turn into an alpha male. <laughs> Man, Joey acts like I'm gonna have a crazy transformation. <laughs> Bro, I am. I feel like I'm just shredding on these kids right now. I just dropped another advance. I might be able to drop a double nuke on these kids. Hold up. Yo, I might drop a double nuke on these kids. No way. That would be insane. No way. That would probably be one of the craziest things I've ever done. I've never dropped a double nuke in this game yet. No, I have not. Oh, wait, I have? Have I really? Good thing Joey's here. <laughs> I think I'm on pace for another MGB right now. I'm on a 20 right now. Can we get it? We need. I'm gonna start running at kids now. Reload quick one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Drop this. Okay, MGB's gonna come in. I'm gonna try to get a couple more kills really quick before I die. I wanna drop the double. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man, we are gonna drop the double. We dropped it. Let's go. We got a double nuclear, baby. A hundred bomb? Damn. All right, well, like I said, it's a good thing you're here because, you know, sometimes I need somebody to remind me what I've done. <laughs>